everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be getting ready for a date night. I thought I'd bring you guys along so we can do my makeup, choose an outfit, do all that fun stuff, and also explain some of the other things I do in order to get ready for a date night along the way during the video. So with that being said, guys, let's just jump right in. So as you guys can tell, I have already showered and my hair is still semi-wet, that's why it's up, and plus it's keeping my hair out of my face. So I'm just gonna keep it like this. But I have already done my skincare. I used um, Clarins Double Serum for my serum today. I also used the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It is an intense hydrator, but it's definitely not too heavy on the skin, which is really good because especially for whenever I go out on a date, I don't like a heavy cream on because then I feel like my foundation slips inside and around or looks really greasy, and that is just not my vibe. And then I also used the um, Kiehl's Avocado Eye Treatment, which is really amazing. It is just essentially hydrating, and it does a really good job of hydrating the under eyes. The first thing that I'm actually going to do makeup-wise is go in with a primer, and I'm actually going to use the Hangover Primer by Too Faced. This one is nourishing, hydrating, it's really, really good, and I was in the sun today. You guys will probably see a vlog up. Um, it's probably up by now. I don't know if it'll go up before or after this video, but... I was in the sun today and my skin just feels really dry whenever I come back from the pool and what the heck's on my finger? Loving tan. <laughs> Anyways, my skin is usually pretty dry whenever I come back from the pool, from the chlorine and the sun, all that. And I think it's really important to hydrate your skin after you've been in the sun anyways. For my foundation today, I'm going to be going in with two. I usually end up doing a mixture whenever I put fake tan on because it's just such a struggle to find your skin color from the moment you put your fake tint on to when it fades. It's just a big struggle. So I have my NARS foundation in Aruba and then I also have the Fit Me Matte and Poreless in Nude Beige. And these two mixed together have a perfect color and a great finish. So I really like the mixture of them together. Alright, let's see if it matches me. So today was actually a very hot day in Florida for like the first time in forever because two days ago it was 52 degrees and now it's 82 and I took advantage of it today and laid by the pool for a couple hours and it just felt really good to be back in the sun because I hadn't been in the sun in so long so it felt good for my body to be back in the sun and I was so happy and I felt so good and even though it was literally freezing out I jumped in the pool if you guys haven't seen my vlog it should be up either before this video or after you guys should totally watch it because I jumped in the freezing cold water oh my god it was awful um also I am using the what is this called born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade almond but anyways, it was so, so cold that like it felt like it was pressure and so cold that it literally gave me a headache when I was underwater. But after I came out of the water, it felt so amazing. Just like the warmth of the sun on my skin after being in the cold water. It just made me miss summer so, so much. So, so, so. <laughs> I can't even speak. It made me miss summer so, so, so much. So I'm really excited for summer to be back. So excited. Whoa, <laughs> I look crazy. While we are here, I thought I would just thank you guys quickly for the amazing love and support on my most recent video. You guys have gotten it to, I think, 24,500 views at the moment, and this is the 7th of February. You guys are freaking crazy. Like, you people are wild for getting it that high. Like, my highest viewed video other than that one is 20,000, which... I thought I would never beat this year. I thought that was like my gonna be my best video of the year. But the next one I put out got to freaking 24,000 views already. And I'm just so excited for this year. Like that gave me a boost of motivation to strive bigger and to make more videos and do more content. So if you guys have anything that you want me to post or any any videos that you like watching let me know and i'll try my best to do every single one that you guys recommend me to do so let a girl know okay so i'm using the born this way setting powder it's the translucent one 
I feel like this one does a really good job of setting the under eyes and I have very creasy, 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 creasy under eyes and it works really, really well for me. I have been thinking of so many videos though to do for you guys and uh, I just have so many ideas and I don't even know like what to start with. Like I obviously have more fashion videos. I have a mango haul coming soon. Um, I wanted to do like beach day videos. I wanted to do traveling videos, but um, I'm not going to be traveling a whole lot probably this year, but in the future I'm going to be traveling a lot more. Like the only trip that I have coming up is New York and obviously I'm going to be vlogging and posting when I'm there, but just in general, I just don't have a lot of time to travel, but in the future I definitely, definitely want to. So next I'm going to be going in with my Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for lighter skin. I don't know if this is going to look good with how dark I am right now, but we will see. It's not really showing up that much. Doing a little something. But I like to look really, really bronzed when I go out at night. So I feel like it looks super, super pretty. Yeah. We're gonna have to go a little bit darker with the bronzer. So this one, <laughs> I definitely got this way too dark. Look how freaking dark this bronzer is. That is like a brown bronzer, but it looks super like warm toned and beautiful on the skin. You just have to like literally like tap so lightly into it. Or if not, you're gonna look like a tomato because it's very like red undertoned. But it's a really, really pretty, pretty bronzer. And I always run a little bit of bronzer down my nose as well. Around my neck, just to make sure everything blends together. Let me take out my hair now. I think we're gonna do blush next. And I've really been loving the Peachy Bean Palette by Essence. This is the collab with Casey Holmes. If you guys haven't watched my Essence testing video, guys, I love this so much. The pigment is amazing. The colors are freaking beautiful. And I'm going to be using my little Dior brush blush. That is a tongue twister. My Dior blush brush for this. And I'm actually gonna dip in to both of them and put that on and i'm like a very very blushy person like i love blush i never used to but especially for the summertime like i love the look of it and next we're gonna go in with the highlight i usually do a mixture mixture of highlights um i've been really liking this one by casey holmes as well they're the essence it does really really well um, I feel like I had to kind of scrape the first layer of this actually to get more pigmentation, but now that I have, like, <laughs> she is bright and it's actually really pretty because it's pinky toned, so it looks really pretty layered over a blush. I have been digging it. Put a little bit up here. And then I always put a little bit of my Amrezy highlighter by Anastasia on it as well. It's for a little bit more of a golden look and then with my finger I will do the cupid's bow my chin and then my nose they always create like a little exclamation point to snatch it all right so next I think we're actually going to move on to the brows I think that is the last thing on the face other than like the eyes and lips yeah I think we're going to do brows so I am back eyebrows are on um, next thing we're going to do is just pop a little bit of eyeshadow on. I don't want to do anything too intense. Um, usually for going out, I just kind of throw something in the crease and then put on some bold lashes because I'm not really about a bold eye. I like playing up the face, playing up the eyebrows, and then keeping the eyes kind of subtle and then really bringing the life back with some lashes. That's usually my vibe. So I'm just going to put a color in the crease real quick. Let's see what we want to put in the crease. Honestly, I might just take the bronzer and throw it in my crease. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. And I'm just gonna keep this relatively low and then blend it up just a little bit. Like so, it just gives a little bit of color back to the eyes considering they're so white from the concealer. So I'm gonna throw on some lashes and then put on some mascara and i will see you guys in a second so what are your valentine's day plans let a girl know i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to be doing yet we kind of have 
done this same thing for the last two years. It's becoming a tradition, which I absolutely love. We go to my hometown and we go to um, a sushi place and we sit down, we have sushi, and then we come up, come back home and we watch Netflix and just cuddle and have a good night. And I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do this year. I really enjoyed our time last year just sitting down at a restaurant, having some sushi together. It was just super simple. It's the way I like it. Get some roses, you know. But let me know what you guys are going to be doing for Valentine's Day. I'm curious. And don't even feel bad if you're not like with somebody for Valentine's Day. I don't feel like you have to be. I spent plenty of years alone on Valentine's Day and you know what? I enjoyed myself. I had fun being by myself on Valentine's Day. You know, it's always, it's, I don't want to lie and say that it was the best feeling of being alone, but you know, use it as an opportunity to quote unquote treat yourself, get some lush bath bombs, go get a face mask sample from somewhere bougie, or you can go buy yourself one if you have the money and you know, just wash your sheets, wash your bed, you know, so everything smells good when you go to sleep and watch your favorite movie, watch, watch your favorite chick flicks sit with your face mask, eat your favorite ice cream, like, you know, do stuff like that that you usually don't do on the daily. Maybe go get your nails done or your feet done, you know. You have to be there for yourself. You have to love yourself in the end, so make sure you take care of yourself for Valentine's Day, too, if you guys are alone. <laughs> My lashes are on. I am using the Violet Voss lashes in sexy and I know it. Um, they are $10 lashes from Target guys and they are freaking amazing. Let me throw on some mascara real quick and let me find it. Here it is. So as for lipstick, I'm a little bit torn. I don't know if I want to do red maybe. Is that too bold? I don't know. I think I want to do it. I am going to be using the Lipstick Queen Red Center. It's like this beautiful red color. And then I'm also going to be using the Anastasia American Doll. Now I do a little quote unquote life hack with this. I actually kind of line with the matte lipstick and then fill in with this one. So whenever I eat or move or accidentally do this or whatever, the border of my mouth doesn't move but that center will which is fine but it's that's usually where it gets really drying for me is in the middle so I'll just put a like cream red in the middle and these two match really really well so I'm gonna do that real quick so my lips are done completely I can seal it around them they are looking crisp and fire it almost has like a pinky hue to it which is perfect for this Valentine's Day season and this is pretty much my whole look come together, but I just need to do my hair and put on an outfit. So I am going to go grab some product real quick and we will figure out what the heck we're gonna do with this because I don't even know. So I think I figured out what I wanna do with my hair. I'm just gonna put a heck ton of oil in it and slick it up into a bun. I think that's gonna look really nice with a bold lip, kinda just keep the focus on the face, not the hair as much so it's not too loud. So the hair oil I always use is the Bumble and Bubble hairdressers oil it is very very good it makes your hair so soft and this is a must 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 every single time i do my hair whether it's up down straight curly whatever i always spray in the sensible lady hair mist um i found this one at urban outfitters you guys can probably find it there too um this is what it looks like for reference so there it is it's amazing and i just do a few sprays of this my hair to make sure it smells friggin' fresh. And I'm almost running out of it, so I might need to go get more. And then I take like three pumps of the hair oil, which is a lot, but I'm trying to get my hair to be way healthier and grow out because my hair takes years to get long and that's just the texture of my hair. It's very dry and I have the hardest time growing it out, so. I have been just putting a ton of oil in it every day and hoping that it just helps it grow. And I usually have two hair ties for this task because I wrap one around the base kind of like this and then I'll wrap another one to put the bun. So, oh, it hurts so bad every single time I do this. 
curly hair problems. So like I said, I always wrap my hair around the base. And then I will take it up, do a little twist. Kind of like so. And then I take this cool looking non-tangly hair tie, put that one around. And it's kind of cute too because it has that gold look and I think it's really pretty. And then I always pull out, oh my fingernail. I always kind of pull out the sides and stuff like that so it doesn't look like a little, like a little baby. It's kind of like that. So there's the hair. So I believe that is the entire look. I'm gonna go put some clothes on, show you guys what I'm wearing, and then I will be headed out the door to my date because I am already running late as per usual. So let me go put some clothes on and I'll be right back guys. So tonight I decided to wear a cream mock neck sweater. It's pretty warm simply because the movie theaters are always super freaking cold and I'm always freezing. So I'm wearing this. I'm also wearing a vintage belt that I picked up from a thrift store and then my mom jeans and a pair of black silver heeled um, ankle booties and that's just kind of the look for the night super simple I really wanted my red lip to be the focus of the whole entire outfit. So Yeah So I was going to also show you guys the perfumes and the lotions that I usually use whenever I go out on a date Just the you know sexy smelling type of thing lotion I use the sponge sugar and vanilla bean and this also has like little specks of glitter in it So it's super super nice and then for a fragrance I use the Jador by Dior. It's the very like jasmine floral. It smells very feminine and pretty and this is usually what I use whenever I go out. <laughs> so that was everything guys. That was the outfit, the makeup, the lotions, the perfumes, everything I need to get ready for a date night. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I ho hope you got some inspiration from my outfit and my look and everything else. So I will see you guys soon in my next video. So peace and love until then. See you guys soon.